Pisces Singles, thanks for joining me at the Urban Jungle Studios in Cancun, Mexico, using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck tonight, right here at sunset, really. Um, beautiful. Oh, maybe you see the bats come out. You might see them flying behind me. So, we love the bats. They eat mosquitoes. Oh, here's to the bats. Oh. There's only agua. <laughs> Oh, I'm so straight nowadays, man. You know, six house Saturn stra uh, transit, and I'm on board like a fucking soldier walking through the uh, six house here, man. Doing everything I can, losing a lot of weight. I'm on it, guys. I'm on it. So this is the meet the soulmate read. This just reads the one that's right for you. So it's a not not a triggery read. It's not a negative read in any way. I don't think. Um, even if you see like the three of swords, nobody's breaking up with you in this read. I've already shuffled guys. Uh, don't really read the bottom of the deck with this one. And so we're going to look at the four pillars I call it. Emotional, intellectual, sexual, and love. And then lifestyle core values. These four areas. Four pillars of a chair or table. Um, that make something stable. And with eight cards, two cards for each uh, area. Uh, try to get an idea of what your person's like. So we're asking spirit, name, light, and love. Only so that serves the greatest good to guide us in understanding uh, and your person here, Pisces, um, how they might be. We'll look at uh, their astrologies. We'll keep that in mind. Um, it's pretty easy to get an astrological chart. You might already know it, hopefully. Oh, as an astrologer, don't leave home without it. Don't go on a date without it. You know, That's the way I'm seeing it. Okay, so this is... Uh, Page of Swords. This is in their emotional aspect, and that's going to be over the devil. My goodness. I rarely clarify this reading, but I might have to do that with that one. I'm thinking, Spirit. Um, let me know. Ten of Pentacles. This is in the intellectual position. Huh. Interesting. In the world. Ten of Pentacles over the world this is I kind of see conscious energy here at the top unconscious energy um, it, your person probably has a really good memory um, I've got a I'm going back to the emotional part here now this is just the way they're born it's genetic you all you see it in astrology uh, but they have a really good it's Capricorn person I think you got here uh, I'd say like a strong Capricorn personality, uh, a strong energy. You also got Capricorn here with the devil. That's what I'm trying to decide. I think they may have their sun and their moon most likely conjunct in Capricorn, and that's why it's showing up as the devil too. And it's, you're also seeing the world. This is amazing. Uh, when the sun and moon is conjunct, there's a, and particularly in a sign like Capricorn, it's going to be a self-containment. This is a person that usually doesn't need everybody else. They don't need people to look to them, to look at them. They don't need people to praise them. They don't need people to talk to them. They don't need people to amuse them. You know, they're self-contained, um, and that has its own energy. Um, it can be very attractive, too. Um, you know, because they're the person that doesn't uh, give a, uh, too much away, uh, doesn't uh, try to earn favor or anything. Um, and uh, there would be someone who, as you experience them, there's someone that's very much about just living their life, you know. Um, with this energy, if they're of any age, um, they're going to have some, basically, some kind of wealth in their life. I think they would just be driven here to achieve and um, work hard. And I think they're very intelligent. They, they could have an advanced degree, any kind of specialized training, you know, um, this kind of thing, um, in terms of their education here. It's hard not to see the page of swords over the devil as them experiencing in childhood some kind of trauma. Um, it, it could say it's a uh, verbal, uh, but to be over the devil is pretty powerful. 
if it was simply verbal, then this is the kind of thing that really uh, did affect them much for life. I'd say they're perfect as your person. So they come from this background. They've been gifted with a very strong uh, personality, very strong mind, very good mind. They may also, you might also have Mercury there in uh, Capricorn, comes to my mind. Um, uh, but this is the story they have from childhood. Um, I, I get the feeling like this was, uh, someone was predatory, a, a neighbor, a, a relative, um, and that's what they had to deal with. And there might be some energy with it. And Capricorn moons could be good for this, uh, that they, uh, at an early age as possible, they might want to act. I have a Saturn in the fifth. I'm kind of like this myself from that, you know, um, because Saturn's Capricorn, but they may want to just innately want to be mature and uh, not act childlike, you know. Um, so they might have presented that kind of energy coming out of this, you know. Um, so there's someone who probably works very hard um, and is, uh, you know, diligent probably neat let's see what we get in the sexual and love nature the eight of cups don't be scared but yeah i can see why they had to walk away guys from that childhood stuff holy shit over the ten of cups and this is in the love nature wow um cups here it's gotta be Pisces energy this is a Pisces um, Venus and a Pisces Mars for them they may be a third deacon uh, Capricorn Sun too whatever house I'm not I don't know uh, I, would, I would be surprised if it's 10th house I mean this person is like solid I mean like okay like they really are solid they don't like have to try to be solid they don't appear solid they totally are just totally solid like they got that down um, as I said they're of any age they would achieve some kind of material uh, wealth and uh, security at least and you know um, how they would be um, and then in terms of, of the way they love and sex, it's like, um, and I think to some degree that's how they deal with this stuff from childhood. It comes out in their sexuality and their love nature. Um, and however they do it, they do it in a, a way that they figured out that's balanced, what, we're, what it's all about in life, figuring out the hand we're, we're dealt. Um, but nevertheless, you know, it's going to come up in their sexuality and the way they love. And, uh, you know, Venus is exalted there. And Mars is, uh, tends to be way softer there. Um, and uh, sexually, you know, um, a Pisces Mars can uh, be really giving and yielding. Um, it's usually not going to be um, in any way. I mean, I guess it could depend. Maybe it's in the first house, uh, you know, uh, conjunct Jupiter or Pluto or something. Uh, but typically it's going to be more receptive feminine energy rather than the projective dominant inner masculine energy um, so um, they someone would love you like with their whole heart you know um, unconditionally too comes to mind ten of cups five of pinnacles now this is in their core values in their lifestyle it just Injustice. Well, I think the Five of Pentacles over Justice, uh, Injustice here in a, a core of the uh, core values. Um, you remember I said they had a Libra Moon, and there's Justice. Um, they're kind of haunted uh, by something in the in their past. Um, Along with whatever they went through, they may have not had enough, uh, uh, just materially. 
uh, this might drive them some this is why they or they might be aware and this is a story they tell you that they talk about us. they're like you know I come from where we really couldn't afford and so now I'm like I do what I need to do so that if I need a new car I can just go get it you know if I need to do something to wear I just go buy I don't have to like bite my nails and be oh my god if I need a medical procedure I get the medical procedure I don't have to die you know I want to be like this so they might have even some clarity about that connection you know um, and I think definitely like where they're the most vulnerable is with you and where they're the most sexual is going to be with you uh, and it's not going to be a fiery sex it's going to be very emotional here um, and you know part of what's justice to them is uh, dealing with this unfairness you know the luck of the draw energy I think um, they may do something along those lines. Not sure how that would work. A woman center or advocacy group or a nonprofit of some kind that supports uh, families' rights, children's rights, something um, with this justice energy. Uh, I get more like that than than really a lawyer, but they definitely could be with ten of pentacles in the world and this Capricorn energy that they have. Uh, I mean, with the, they had a cat moon, yeah. So sorry about the Libra. They definitely have a cat moon. But here we see Libra energy. Um, and so, I mean, you could just kind of say, like, uh, whatever they do, like, for a living, it's going to be pretty obvious to see how maybe it came from their experience in some way, like sideways. Like, you know, this is their way of trying to right the unfairness in the world, and they feel like something was, you know, terribly unfair for them uh, when they started out. And so whatever they're doing with their life, you know, they might feel like that's a very important part of uh, dealing with their own uh, energy, their own childhood. Um, and they may have a bit, I kind of get a feeling they have a pretty clear idea about what's going on with them, like psychologically and everything. Uh, they probably have a really good mind, like for details and clarity and memory. Um, this person would be uh, all over it. And with the Pisces energy and the Venus and Mars, you know, also, you know, they're going to desire emotional uh, connection and, you know, um, emotionally intelligent people and available people. Um, and um, I think with the Eight of Cups, it means that they're just going to walk in, uh, over the Ten of Cups. I mean, they're going to have an emotional sense of just, to, they're going to walk away if anything doesn't feel good. So they won't have been probably in bad relationships. They probably have a pretty good feel for, uh, so they won't be telling you those stories. Uh, how, when they get in a relationship, they know when it feels right. Um, so good intuition around that. Um, which may work for them in their job too, whatever it is they're doing here. They could be a counselor too, for sure. Um, counsels people and helps them personally and directly. That would work. So let me know, Pisces, what you think. Uh, it's a predictive read, someone you might not see for, uh, well, it's mid-November, so it's here. So any time now in the future, next week or so. And um, let me know if you run into this person because you'll... If, Best you know a little bit about their astrology, their date even, or if you get the time. And uh, do like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys.